hello everybody hello hello hey guys i am tracy i'm coming to you live from my workshop um i'm coming to you from san antonio texas and tonight i am painting a door um a door i just left the dixie bell paint page and um we painted the back side of this pantry door i'm going to straighten it up a little bit it's a little bit low please say hello when you come on i'm coming to you live from inside my shop Noticing my lighting needs to be moved around a little bit. Uh, say hello. Let us know that you're here. Zadie. Hi, sweetheart. I wonder what happens if I wave back to you. So I'm on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Um, Margo. Hi, Margo. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, so this is what we've done so far. We are working on a really crazy fun design right here on this side. Man, the light's terrible tonight, right? Um, okay, so this side... First coat only is the surprise of the inside of the pantry. This is a pantry door that my client from Fort Worth, Texas, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, from Fort Worth, Texas brought to me. I've already done her entire kitchen um, cabinets and she brought me her pantry door because her pantry door stands right next to all of her cabinets and her cabinets are crazy cool and her door looked so boring in comparison. So. Uh, this is the inside of her door. It's one coat of peony. Um, I will do a second coat of this, and then I'm also going to do a wash. Um, hey, girls. I have five teenage girls in the house. Um, also going to do a wash of Plum Crazy as well. So we are going to work on the other side. Hold on just a second. Okay. I had to tell them, uh, Mama's working. You got to pipe down. You got to pipe down. Who is on tonight? Let me see. Heather and Judy and Anya and Shannon. Hi, you guys. You'll love. I love the hot pink door. Um, I wish we didn't have. I love our roof. We have. Uh, we have a, like a red. It looks like the clay roofs, but it's actually metal. But it looks like clay tile. And it is. Hi, Tippy. I haven't seen you in forever. Um, it is like a terracotta. Well, it's like a brick red color. It's not the orange terracotta. It's more like a brick red. If I didn't have that, I would do a hot pink door on my house for sure. Hello, Maureen and Carrie. Debbie, hi, honey. Hi. All right, so this is the back side. It's really cool. Pad, hey, sweetheart, how are you? Okay, so that's it. Inside of the door. Outside of the door is this. So let's get busy on this. We started it on the Dixie Ball page. I don't like the space down here. I'm going to narrow that up a little bit. I, I'm struggling with it. This is going to be a black and white pattern, okay? So... Down here, um, I'm going to narrow this up. This part is, this will be white, this will be black, this will be white, this will be black. Um, but I don't like that this space is so large. So I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller uh, from my center point. I think I'm going to do it about like that. That still works with my single piece of tape that I've used multiple times now. All right. So when you have insets in your door like this and you want to do an all over pattern, you want to treat your insets separately. So I'm not going to worry about running my tape. There's a hair that is driving me crazy. Does this happen to y'all? It makes me nuts. Ah, there it is. Makes me crazy. I can't stand that. Um, so you want to treat your insets separately. So you don't want to worry about running that tape, you know, around the curve and over. Just don't. Just paint this outer part first, the high, the high road, paint the high road, and then paint your insets separately. So I'm going to use an extra piece of tape to remind myself that this is white and I don't want to paint that. So that means don't paint that. So I'm only going to be painting the black and the black. So we're going to continue on with the taping. Um, I'm going to use a little bit skinnier tape because this is my center point right here. This is where the sunburst is going to happen from. So it's going to be like like that. Can y'all do that? Uh, so we're going to keep going. So this is white, so I need to do a black one here. So I'm going from the doorknob, which we took off. She's actually buying, a, I think, a crystal doorknob that she's putting on the door. Um, so I'm just going to get right down in front of it. And let's do, that one's white, this will be black. So again, I'm going straight across. Now, I usually use a straight edge when I do something like this. I usually use a straight edge, which I had out to show you right here. This is a very large straight edge that I use on a lot of my furniture. 
uh, because I do this pattern or you know long patterns on dressers and things like this. So this is really long, and I could have easily done this. I could just stand here like this and go like that and go like that and go like that. I could have measured it off that way, not measured because I don't measure ever. Um, I could have eyeballed it and traced it with a pen or a pencil, um, which would be great. But then you still are gonna have to go back and tape it unless you're gonna freehand it, which I do freehand a lot of my work on smaller objects, but something this large, I'm gonna tape it off. So um, that's why I'm not using the straight edge. Uh, Diana, hello there. Hi, and hi Mia and Cam's Instagram. Thank y'all so much for being here. We're here every single Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night, right here. So thank y'all so much um, for joining. Okay, so that's a black section. Now we're gonna do another one. Um, that will be white. Let's see. I'm going to bring that tape in just a smidge, like so. And it doesn't matter to me what's skinnier, what's bigger. It doesn't matter. I don't want it to be perfectly measured. That, that would be, that would cause my perfectionism <laughs> to stress out because I'd be like, oh, that one's a little bit bigger. That one's a little bit bigger. No, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is black, so this one's gonna be white. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape across here, just saying, don't paint that. Now this door has already been painted. This is not the factory finish. This is a, a coat of fluff, Chalk, uh, Dixie Bell's fluff, Dixie Bell paints fluff. I put my link on the video on Facebook, Instagram, I'll put it on as soon as I'm done. Um, a lot of you really want to know about painting doors. You can do this exact same thing to your front door. I painted my front door three different times in three different colors. It's so easy. That hot pink, we did it in like 10 minutes of the first coat. Second coat could be done in 10 minutes and you put a top coat on it and you're done. Silk paint, Dixie Belle also offers silk paint, which is an all-in-one paint that has a built-in top coat. That works great on front doors because it's got a UV protectant, um, fade resistant, and it's got a, a little bit of a water, water resistance in it as well. So that's really good for front doors, and that's called silk paint. Um, I put my link there if you want to go check that out. It, they do have a lot of different colors. Did I just, I think I just spit on myself. <laughs> I think I spit while I was talking. Um, okay, so that's white. So let's do a black. That's white. Black will start here, all right, and take it up about like so, about like that. Just running this right across those upper surfaces. Not worrying about the insets, just where it meets, just like that. And we'll be using a roller, okay? So that one's black. We'll do another white one. Do it like so. Does that look good? If I do one more, is that good? But then I mean, I'm gonna have to. I may need to move this because look at this. So I've got this side over here. So this is black. It comes to here. That leaves this white. Hmm, that's black, so my white line is here. So I really probably need to make this skinnier. There we go. This is me winging it. I'm gonna make that a little bit skinnier because this is black, this is white. You're gonna hear me say that a million times. Um, probably need to go out like this. We're going to go out like so. So all of that's white. So this will be black, white, black, white. So don't paint this. This is a no paint. Do not paint. And then this will be black. This is white. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more here. White, black. I guess I could just leave that all black. I may have to do that in the end because that's going to mean that this black comes down and goes below the knob. So what do I do here, guys? 
what do I do? I do one more divide out. That would make this white, but then this is white. I may have to do super tiny. I may have to do it with, I am. I'm gonna have to do super tiny. I'm not gonna touch that until the end. That's what I'm gonna do. So at the very end, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roller this section. Well, I may roller to about right here, but I'm not gonna roller right here because I'm gonna come in with a tiny ruler and make this is a small space and I'm gonna make me some real tiny ones until I can get it like black, white, black. Does that make sense? You'll see my issue there. Okay, so let me grab some fluff and show you how I'm gonna do this. Okay, uh, shouldn't you? Oh, look at Tara answering people for me. Oh my gosh, Tara, you're awesome. Miss you, gal, Despina, hi honey. I am so glad. I am so glad, girl. Thank you so much. Um, boss on door first. Nope, I did not boss this door. It is Sue, but only because I just wanted to switch it. It didn't matter. It did not matter. Uh, let's see here. Instagram's got a suggestion. Rain says, just tape across. You have an equal amount of black and white. Um, well, let's see. She's white, black, white, black, white black, white, black, white, black. I know, but it's the way, it's, it's, I feel like this is gonna be weird. I feel like, I don't know, I'll have to see. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna save this face for the very end. You're right, I do have an equal amount, which matters, you guys. If you're going black, white, black, white, black, white on any pattern, whether it's stripes or checks or sunburst or whatever it is that you're doing, if you're gonna come all the way around and meet again, whether it's on a circle or an oval or a door, that you're doing something that's gonna come around where the colors are gonna come back up and butt up against each other again, you need to do an even number because you need to have, if you do an odd number, your black ends up next to your black or your white ends up next to your white. That's a real, thank you Rain for bringing that up. It's a super good, good tip. All right, so this is my fluff. Just a little brush. I could use my finger if I wanted to. And right now it's very thin, very, very thin layer. I am just going to go on, not on the side that's gonna be white. I don't need to paint any more on my white side. I already have a coat of fluff on here. But the side that's gonna be black, I wanna put a little bit of white. It's called burnishing my edge. So I could do it with a clear coat or I can do it with the color that is the base coat, the, the alternating color. So I'm gonna do that on my high points here not worrying about the insets. I'm not touching them. I'm going to act like those insets aren't even there right now. So I'm burnishing this edge. I'm burnishing the edge of the part that I'm not going to paint. Um, just on these high points, just like this. And what this is doing is sealing off my edge. So some of you may have tried to paint stripes in the past and you use tape and you're like, oh, yay, I'm going to use tape and I'm going to have this great sharp edge and then you take your tape off and all these paint has wiggled its way underneath that tape so the way to keep that from happening is um what's called burnish b-u-r-n-i-s-h burnish your tape by either using a clear coat or the same color as your base coat real light i rub my finger on it afterwards i just push that tape down really hard and then the white paint's going up underneath there right now because no matter how good the paint company tells you this painter's tape is, it still allows paint underneath the surface. So I'm just burnishing this edge anywhere that black paint is going to be. And then going behind it and really pressing that edge down. Paying attention to all the high points here, just like this. Paying attention to that. And then you just have to let it dry, which doesn't take long. This chalk mineral paint dries within minutes. Even if you did a huge solid first coat, it's usually dry, especially in the summer, within about 15 minutes. Um, but something as light as this, it's dry in about five minutes probably. So, um, just burnishing that edge, pressing it down. That way I'm gonna get a nice, crisp, sharp edge. I'm gonna use a roller. I'm gonna be using a roller, at least on these big, flat areas I'll be using a roller and we can do we'll do let's do two sections I, I won't I won't finish this story with you guys but uh, tonight 
but and I don't think I'll work on it. I don't think I'm going to be working on it over the ah over the weekend because um, we have grandkids for two days starting tomorrow, and then uh, I have a, a paint class in my private paint group that I do with Sully. We have that on Saturday and Sunday. My sister's coming in town from uh, from um, Nicaragua. She lives in Nicaragua. She'll be here for two days. So remember, I'm painting anywhere that's going to be black. I'm painting my white edge of my tape. So right now, this white paint is going up underneath that tape and sealing it off, making an edge. That way, when I paint black over it right here, the black can't go underneath there because I've already sealed it with white. Then when you take the tape off, you won't see any of the black that's gone underneath. All right. So let's do, we can do, let's do this section together. Well, I guess we could do this one. We could do this section together. We'll do one part. You want to do one part? It's going to look a little funny because I won't have done the inset. Um, so it'll be a little bit broken up, but at least you can see, you know, the overall part. These lights make my eyes super dry. Okay, so now, uh, now we're gonna get the black paint. My roll, I don't know what happened to, I don't have another roller tray, so I'm gonna put this in a plastic container. Like, that you would put your food in. I'm gonna pour a little bit in there. You can always make do. I've got a big hard piece in here, I don't know why. All right, there's some black paint. Got black paint, and I've got a roller right here. Uh, I'm gonna roll this out, and then I've got some cardboard laid over here on the side because I don't have a roller tray to roll off my excess, and I don't want a lot of excess on here. So um, I'm just gonna roll this out, just doing it over here on a piece of cardboard, you guys, just to kind of roll off my excess and get my, get my roller nice and covered, just like this, just like that. All right, so let's do this part right here. My, my paint is not all the way dry, you guys, so I'm getting a little bit of white on there, but that's okay. This is just our first coat. It will need two coats for sure. I hope I'm not rushing it so I don't have um, bleed through, but I think we'll do all right. Just pay attention. You gotta pay attention where your uh, tape is so that you don't let your roller, uh, especially if it's a little bit bulky, you don't want your roller to get over into that other section. If it does, not a big deal, but I just wanna stay in that section. Again, I'm not worrying about the, worrying about the insets, I'll get those later which is the opposite of what I taught you on the pink side. The pink side, I said, always do your insets first, right? But um, this is different because this is a design. We're not just doing flat painting. All the way down, just like so. I, I really, honestly, I like the roller, but I sure like using a paintbrush better. I really do. And I'll be using a paintbrush on the inset part. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit more to the second coat, and then we can pull that tape off. I don't need the tape there to draw out that line. I don't need it. Still getting a white line up there because that's got a lot of white in it. Because I was rushing because it's not dry. Let's see if I can do it with the roller the opposite way. Cover some of that up. That's better. All right. Take the tape off and we'll get an idea of this. See that 
line. Woo. Looks so good, right? Now I'm just doing this for y'all. I would not normally take my tape off at this point. Um, if I'm doing stripes, I do. See how I've even got that little piece right there? Isn't that awesome? But do you see how crisp that line is? There is zero bleed through. And y'all see how fast it was to burnish that? It was really fast. Took no time at all. Makes all the difference in the world. So that's that. So what would I do next? I know y'all are gonna wanna know. Let me find a pencil and I'll show you. Okay, this pencil does not have a very good point on it. Um, Mindy, I don't know when people have asked me this. Um, there, is no, there is no tag on it. I have three of them. I ordered them off of Instagram. I'm a sucker for clothes on Instagram, but I've stopped ordering them because half the time they don't make it to me, <sighs> ever. Like I pay for them and then they don't show up. And then there's no way to track it. It's the weirdest thing. And they don't have brands in them. And I know it looks cool, but it's got this awful liner like this. This awful liner that is shows it I don't understand the net it's a weird fit it looks good but it doesn't it's irritating thank you though um Carrie from hot and humid Texas right here girl right here in San Antonio I hear you um I want to do my front door as well she said to use boss Debbie thank you so much for answering questions I love that uh just tape across Oh, that's rain. So we haven't, I, I don't know if our comments have stopped. Oh, oh, we were super backwards, Instagram. Sorry about you. Sorry there. Okay, so that's it so far. So next I would take my pencil um, and I just do this by hand, y'all, if, if there's another way you wanna do it. Um, but I just would go in and fill in this little stripe here. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, there's no way, there's no way. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No one's really going to critique your work like that. They're just not. You have to let go of your perfectionism and just do it. And you have to believe in yourself and you have to try. So I would just fill that in and I'm going to go in with an art. Bye-bye. Um, I would use an angle brush just like this, just like this, and with my black. And I will go in. His best friend and he's like, why are you declining my call? Okay, so same thing over here. Now I'm gonna give you an option if you don't think you can hand do it, okay? So I'm gonna pull it down. Just find the spot where you're going and go for it. You just go for it, you just go for it. Same thing here, just like that. Now, what you can do is get a small piece of tape and run a piece of tape once this paint's dry Get that piece of tape and push it in there with your fingernail and go ahead and push it down and you can just trace right next to it. The other thing you can do is get a piece of paper. Paper is super pliable, it bends, it, you know, it, it's awesome. Just get a regular thin piece of like copy paper or notebook paper and lay that up right up with the line of your, your stripe here and just press it in there with your fingers and then just trace right next to that as well. That way you know that it went from that side to that side and you're on the right track just press it in there and you'd be able to do that on these insets. So don't hesitate to do artwork on doors like this just because they have insets. You just treat them as two separate pieces. First you paint the high points, then you remove everything, and then you go back in and you fill in these low points like that. Okay? All right. So that is that. That's all I got for you. I think I'm going to have to go because uh, I think Tony needs Matt and we are utilizing his phone right now. So, um... Ah, oh, we lost sound, Chris. It's probably because I got a phone call. Probably because I got a phone call. In case you lost sound, this is what I'm going to do. Wait, how do I do it? I love you. <laughs> thank you. Is that thank you? I think that's thank you. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> and bye-bye. How's that? All right. Um, you can't see what I'm talking about? You can't? If I move you in, um, if I move the camera, it is, it, uh, sometimes I lose internet. So, I guess I can move the door. Let me move the door. I don't want anyone unhappy. Let's move the door. Now, can you see? How's that? How's that for you? All right, you see what I did? See my line? I drew that with a pencil. I drew it there, and I drew it right here. 
It's just drawn with a pencil. And then I'll go in and I'll, I'll fill it in with paint. Otherwise, you can just run a piece of tape or a piece of paper there. Okay? All right. Say bye to the pink and black and white door for my client, who I just love so much. Shoot, I messed up my paint up here. Picking it up. I stuck my finger in the middle of it. Fix that. Okay, guys, love you all. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday night. Thank you for being here. Thanks for joining me at the beach last week. That was a lot of fun. Um, we will see y'all next Wednesday night. I'll still have the door. Hopefully, it'll be finished and I can show it to you. Um, I would love it if you'd follow me on Instagram, Tracy's Fancy, Facebook, Tracy's Fancy. If you don't follow Instagram and you don't follow Facebook, go to the other and give me a follow. I would love that so much. You've got my link if you want to order any products. I would love that. Dixie Bell gives me a kickback and that's what keeps me going and supports my business and I um, just appreciate that so much much. Um, if you have any questions at all about what I've done, please uh, reach out to me. I answer every single message that I get. It might take me a week or so, but somehow or, or another I will get to them. So um, thanks y'all so much. Toodles, Corky. Toodles. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Let's see.